it has served an economic interest to have white people prefer to see themselves as better than people of color who may even be similarly situated so that they can sort of divide the working and middle class. And this divide and conquer strategy is older than the nation. It is one of the first sort of things that the colonial elite did in order to maintain racial slavery and to convince the masses of white people who were here in servitude that they were somehow better than African slaves and frankly get them to defend slavery, which was nonetheless enslaving these white people out of a job, right? Yeah. Enslaved Black people were not Slavery was not in the near-term immediate economic interest of white indentured servants yeah. in the pre-American days, in the colonial days. Um, and yet, as a response to cross-racial uprisings among servants who were white, Black, and Indigenous, the elite created a difference and said, hey, white people, side with your race instead of your class. And that's what conservative race mongers are doing today mm -hmm. and for the same goal to make sure that the economic elite has the buy-in of the right. mass of white people.